Hi guys, good morning. I hope you guys are all having an amazing day. Me, I just woke up. Well, I kind of woke up like probably about 20 minutes ago, but I've been catching up on my YouTube videos. Guilty as charged. I'm addicted to watching like makeup tutorials and I love watching Trisha Paytas. She's one of my favorites. I also love watching uh, John Cookian and Rich Lux. So if you guys like kind of like comedy as far as YouTube goes, I would definitely check out those YouTubers just because they're really funny. And yeah, they always like make my morning a little bit happier just because I'm always laughing as I'm watching. So I'm going to go ahead and get these invites sent out. And as I'm looking at this, like my phone, like my app for Facebook updated. So things on the screen are switched around and I'm like, what the heck is going on? So I have to check out and see if there's been any other changes to the app or not. So I had an issue um, last week where apparently like someone tried to log on and like use my account and it blocked me out of my account. I'm like, what the heck? Like, I didn't think that stuff actually still happened to people. Like, it's just insane. And also, I cannot believe that it is almost the end of February already, guys. It is almost time for St. Patty's Day, and I am so excited. <laughs> I hate that I actually consider, like, St. Patty's Day, like, an actual celebrated, like, holiday in my household. So, I get really excited. Alrighty. Okay. I'll just go ahead and get started. How is everyone doing this morning? I haven't even gotten set up yet. I'm still like, my eyes are still like tired looking and I had to feed my boys and all that jazz because they give me the guilt face like whenever I'm awake and they're like, you're awake, why aren't you feeding us? Like, isn't that your whole purpose in life? So I had to make sure they got fed before I got started. You might actually be able to even like cure them moving around in their cage. They're little punks. Like, I love them to death, though. It was a little hard to get up this morning. I don't know what the heck my problem was. <laughs> uh, we had ended up going out to um, Olive Garden last night and picking out because we are starting, like, a clean eating kind of thing together and as you know like it's a lot easier in a household for like two people to like try like the healthy eating thing because I'm always the guilty party like when it comes to like eating bad food so I have to I have to make like an active effort to <laughs> to be good when it comes to eating so I'm more of like a DiGiorno's frozen burritos kind of girl it's just easier and like ramen and stuff like that. I just, I never take time to actually cook my food. So, and like salads and stuff never really seem like to fill me up. So I'm going to have to learn to kind of trick my body. And like retrain it to like that kind of food. For like a while though, like when I was living in New York, because um, his father is a chiropractor, for those of you that know Chance and know his family, um, his father is a chiropractor, so when I was living in New York, they had told me that I should try the standard process cleanse, so I was like, okay, whatever. So I was checking it out, and pretty much what it is, is it's generally through like chiropractic offices, I'm using the palette for today uh, but the standard process is through chiropractic offices I don't know if that's like the only place that you can get it but it's like a 21 day thing and you like day 1 through 10 you're only allowed to have fruits and vegetables and it has to be off this list uh, that they have and then on day 11 through 21 is when you start introducing like chicken and fish and stuff like that and the first time I did it like I, I started like crying because I was just like <laughs> this is so hard because <laughs> like when you're so used to eating like junk food like you you don't really start craving anything else you know what I mean I'm taking this color arrogant right here and I'm putting this all over my lid 
I don't know why it's so hard for me to eat healthy. Like, it's not hard for me to exercise. Like, I love to run. And that's, like, my therapy. But when it comes to eating healthy, it just doesn't... I don't know. It just doesn't stick with me. So I'm really going to try this time to make it stick. And I also worry that I'm, like, coming down with something because my throat is just insanely scratchy this morning. So let's hope not. Yeah, yesterday, boys stop fighting. <laughs> they're just like, ugh, they're bickering. It is mine too. I got it with one of our kudos and I can't remember which one it was. It was the one that came with the foundation and the lip stain because I got, of course I had to get another thing of foundation, but I had the new lip stain that came out. What is it? Sucker punched? So that's when I first got it and I've been in love ever since. I believe it's still offered in our kit right now, right? Like they haven't changed that yet. Because I remember when I got my kit, it came with palette one. And I'm also in love with that palette. All right, I am going to take this color right here in Cheerful, the kind of turquoise color. Yeah, yesterday was more of like an errand day. Like, it actually it wasn't errands. Like in the morning I went to a the Portland Bridal Expo with my friend so she could kind of check it out and get ideas and I was like whoa this is like really cool and like really like overwhelming so but it was fun to like try all the cakes and try all the food and stuff like the caterers were amazing I didn't even know what the heck I was eating after a while I was like oh, I don't even care this is good stuff and like they had all different kinds of cake and it was just like oh my gosh so I had to get home and like um I had to get home and work out <laughs> so I was like, yeah, we actually like ate our lunch in cake samples. This is great. And then they had um, a runway show too where they showed off a lot of the dresses, which was really cool because I've never seen like a fashion show before. So they had that. And that was a lot of fun. And um, so then when I got home, I worked out and then... Um, we ended up just like doing like errands and we ended up going to PetSmart to get food for our boys and almost came home with another pet, which we don't need anymore, but it was, it was kind of hard to not do it. So <laughs> I have to stop myself when it comes to getting another animal because I am the worst. Um, I'm going to take this color brave right here, the darker shade. And my dual-sided angle brush, if I could find it, that would be nice, right here. And I'm going to dip it in this color. And I'm probably going to mix it with the triumphant blue too, which is this one, the navy color. And work it into the V right here. I'm not going to drag it all the way over, I just want to give a little bit of dimension to it. I have to say that I noticed a difference yesterday in one of the brands that I was wearing. I wasn't wearing Unique, um, but I did, I'm not going to say the brand because I don't like throwing brands under the bus, but um, I was wearing it. I, on my eyeshadow is like it's definitely one of like my older palettes that I had bought like a while ago and I noticed the difference between like like I used to wear this brand all the time and now that I've started using Unique more like I noticed that the staying power of my old stuff like is not the same as this stuff now and it's like the pigment doesn't didn't stay either and so I was like huh okay <laughs> I was a little sad because I used to think this, like, other, like, brand was, like, the best. And, like, then, and just, the pigment of the shadows just doesn't match up. So, 
I'll still wear it though. I don't like wasting makeup. That's not what I do. <laughs> I'm going in with this color right here, kind of like my clear all, and just putting it in the highlight up here. I was so happy that the attorney, like, at my office, like, sent us a text this morning letting us know that the heat isn't working, so for us to dress warm. I was like, you're so nice. I want to wear sweatpants, but that's not going to happen. That's okay, but one of these days when I own my own firm, I'm declaring one of the days, like, sweatpant day, I think. All right, and then I'm going to go in with my liquid liner. Just a trick for anyone who hasn't heard it, with these pen type of liners, this is our precision liner, always be sure to store the tip down, like with the cap down, um, so all the product kind of hangs out in the tip of the liner. All right. I'm also a little mad at myself because I still haven't figured out which highlighter I want. <laughs> I haven't decided which one I want to order. And I will <laughs> eventually, but I want to get it and show it to you guys, but I don't know which one I want yet. <laughs> I think all the products they're like coming out with are so cool. I'm so excited. Ah! My mirror is falling. This does glide on like really smooth. I have to say that. And the line is very crisp. So I had like a really fun time on Friday night, like when we went to do um, the 80s party. Oh my gosh. If, for one, my hair was crazy. Like I put so much hairspray and like, I never teased my hair because I thought that my hair was impossible to be teased. Sorry, I gotta make sure that's straight now because it's bugging me. So I didn't think that it was possible for my hair to be teased because it's so long and so straight, but I was wrong. And I was like, why don't we bring this look back? Like, this is really cute. And then I had on, like, leg warmers with the high heels and... Oh my gosh. You cannot get... There we go. Okay. That's good enough right now. <laughs> I'm not going to fight with it. I love that how like a majority of my morning will consist of me trying to fix my eyeliner and then just move on. And then trying to find the cap too. That's great. Oh, there it is. It's hiding. Okay. So that was really fun. Uh, it was fun because I love dressing up and I love dressing up for different eras too. So that was just, it was a lot of fun. And the music too. I didn't realize how much of the music that I knew from the 80s because I was born towards the end of the 80s. So I didn't really know a lot of them and growing up in Texas a lot of the music I listened to was country or like Hispanic um, because of my parents so I mean I was like I always thought that the music from the 80s like kind of blended in with the 90s but apparently not but I love a lot of the 80s music so it was so much fun to just go out and dance crazy and just I don't know just to have a good time in the place we went to like the floor felt like a spring 
so when you danced on it it gave like to the weight that was like I don't it was crazy I never experienced anything like that before but it was really cool I'll definitely go again I know they had like a 90s night before and I didn't go but I know definitely if they have another one I'm going because 90s was really my thing I still rock like Casey and Jojo on Pandora all the time I just don't feel like they make music like they used to. It makes me sad. But I have to admit, the costume for the 80s, I'd probably still wear today. <laughs> Not gonna lie. It was just really cute. Like, it was like black tights with like an off the shoulder Batman shirt and just high heels with leg warmers. I mean, I don't think that's really like a far fetch from fashion today, so. Maybe the 80s will make a big comeback. I'm still waiting for the Roaring 20s to make a comeback, just saying. Those kind of dresses and the hair and the, the head pieces need to make a comeback, I'm sorry. I'm getting close to having to switch over to a new tube, but I have still had this mascara since December, so it's lasting. But I have one on deck just in case because I'm not running out of my mascara, so... But I'm actually, I think that once uh, this foundation runs out that I have now, I think I'm going to try the cream pressed foundation because I haven't tried it yet and I'm kind of curious as to how it will work on my skin. I've heard great things about it. So does anyone have anything fun going on this week or what? Yes, like 50s like Marilyn Monroe and stuff, that too. I actually had told one of the ladies uh, on Friday night, I was like, I need them to do like a 20s or a 50 night because that I would just like die and go to heaven. I don't know, like the time periods, like I miss that kind of like innocence, you know what I mean? Like where everyone just went out to dance and have a good time and it wasn't about like, I mean I'm sure they were fighting and stuff, but it wasn't about the fighting, it wasn't about the over drinking so much as it was, I want to go out and dance and have fun with my friends and... I love the bathing suits from the 50s too, like the Marilyn Monroe, like the the white one. I'm still looking for a red polka dotted uh, bathing suit like that. And like the strappy shoes and stuff. I could just go on and on about the fashion that I love from back in that day. Oh my gosh. I was born in the wrong era. Seriously. Oh my voice is just getting worse and worse you guys. <laughs> I'm going down. All right, I'm doing my Glorious Touch Primer. Uh, my good friend, she actually bought the uh, eye primer from me last week, and she was just she loved it. So I'm really I'm really happy because I hadn't tried the eye primer yet. But I mean, naturally, I, I assumed that if it's like half as good as our face primer is, then it's going to be amazing, and she loved it. So I was really happy. I actually, like, I'm such a dork that I actually follow, like, the 50s um, Facebook pages just to look at the fashion from back in the day. I'm such a nerd. <laughs> I 
Every year I think I'm going to do that for Halloween and then I end up not dressing up for Halloween. But this year I really want to do it depending on where we are and like where I get accepted to law school. So I'm hoping we are looking at places all over the country. So I am really excited. Sorry, I didn't show this. This is our Skin Perfecting Concealer. This lasts six plus months, like, or more. Like, I've had this since summer of last year. So, this baby lasts forever because you don't need, like, a lot of product. And it doesn't gunk under your eyes either. And it covers tattoos, too. I don't know if you guys have seen the pictures or not, but it's pretty impressive. I actually remember to dampen my beauty blender. It's like things I'm most known for not doing. Oh, that's awesome. I love the movie. What did you think of the new remake of Grease? Did you like it? I thought it was pretty good. I enjoyed watching it. It was a lot of fun. So I'm going to go in with my Mineral Touch prim or Primer Blech. <laughs> Foundation, Liquid Touch Foundation. And with this one, you only need like four or five drops. Um, I usually do six because, I don't know, it's an even number and I'm weird like that. <laughs> um, a bottle, this bottle will last you 80 to 100 uses. So it'll last you a long time. Grease was set back in, was it the 50s or the 60s? I don't remember. Or it could have been even sooner. I don't know. But I love Grease and I love Dirty Dancing too. Like I grew up watching those and I remember when my mom, when I was younger, she's like, let's watch Dirty Dancing. And I was like, no, I don't want to watch it. And like then the first time she showed it to me when I was like younger, like I was just attached to it. And so it's definitely one of my like kid memories that I have. I'm just going to go ahead and bake a little under my eyes. Try to brighten it up, make me look a little bit happier for Monday. <laughs> We'll see if it works, if, if I fool anyone. Alrighty, I'm going in with, if I can find it, do a little bit of a contour up here, add a little bit of bronze to my face. So I've been thinking about 1959. Okay, I knew it had to have been like somewhere in the middle. So I was right on the line. Uh, I'm debating whether I want to get like a tanning membership, like just at a um, salon or whether I should get like a gym slash tanning membership. Because like the gym that I live close to, couples them both but the tanning beds at the gym like I don't know if you guys like ever have gone to a tanning place like a tanning bed at a gym but like they're just not that good like they don't change the bulbs as much and I only wanted to go like a couple times a week because like I live in the northwest and it's always like dark and gloomy <laughs> I need a little sun so I don't know because then but then I'm like you know I can also go to the gym if I want, so that's like more bang for your buck, I guess, but I don't know. I don't know if I'm crazy thinking that I should just go with just a tanning membership. I don't know. I think too hard on these things. Because I like, I work out here at the clubhouse at my uh, apartment complex, so I don't really have to go very far. So, I mean... The gym's like further away and I'm less inclined to go. Uh, the color that I'm using for this one is actually the same color that I wore 
on Friday to get like my 80s kind of pinky look. It's in the color stunning. And since it is so bright, I'm probably going to have to kind of blend out a little bit, but. Kind of just take a big yeah, fluffy brush right here and just kind of blend it out so it's not as harsh. And then I'm going to take the highlight shade from my contour palette, this one right here, and I'm going to put it at the top and then also down my nose. Yeah, gym memberships, like this one is only like $20, I think, like, and I have to sign up by like tomorrow. But it's like twenty dollars, and you get full use of the gym, and you also get um, like the tanning. But the only issue that I have with that is like the only thing that I really use is the treadmill because I'm not much of like a weightlifter. Like I always love doing the exercise classes instead. So I used to take this one class called Tread and Tread, and like it was really nice because it was like a boot camp mixed with like tr like treadmill sprints and stuff like that like it's a really awesome class if you guys ever like see it like I recommend like doing it because it's really like intense and I built like a lot of muscle for it so I like doing kind of like muscle building like classes like that but when it comes to actually lifting weights I'm not very good at it or like you know I can just um I guess accept that about myself I'm not the best but look at that like shine right there love it blinding people today um but it's just i don't know so the to have the membership with the tanning and the classes that i actually use are like 50 dollars, like for a month and if i just get a tanning membership it would just be 20 for a month and i don't know so i'm still thinking hard about that i'm trying not to be such like a compulsive like buyer like someone that like signs up for classes or like signs up for things so I've been thinking really hard about it same with my highlighter choice like I'm trying to think hard on it <laughs> I don't want to get the one that like doesn't suit my needs as much so I'm doing my brows and I'm going to use the same palette that I've been using I'm going to use this darker shade right here and I'm going to take an angled brush like this ah I gotta fix this. This bugs me when it gets spun. My husband's awake. He's like stepping around in the background. <laughs> Probably woke him up with my loud voice. <laughs> yeah, I really love using these as like my brow f like fill in. It works the same. It's amazing. And like it holds the whole day so it doesn't come like off like or you know kind of like powdery or anything like that. It stays like in the brows so it's pretty nice all right I'm going to take a black liner and go underneath my eyes It was fun yesterday though, I actually did see a unique representative at the bridal show, so I had to give her a shout out. And I was like, hey girl, how's it going? So she had like her pretty little setup, which honestly, like I was thinking it to like to myself, like for brides who want to like do their own makeup or have someone that's like good at makeup do it for them, like our kit is like perfect for it. So I was like, why didn't I think of that? So it's definitely something I might do in the future, keep my eye out for like bridal shows to like kind of set up at and try that out. I'm just going to go in with my uh, Perversion Mascara just to do my bottom lashes. Uh, 
Alrighty, where am I gonna put this? I'll put this there, okay. And then I'm gonna go in with this new color that I bought, and it is the color Fortunate. I am obsessed with it, I definitely recommend it. Um, I'm guessing the debate is which one looks different. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> is that the debate, like which one you should do instead? Because usually, like, I don't know. I mean, let me see if I can sharpen this real quick. I mean, I don't always, like, do my waterline on here, but, I mean, I can, but depending on whether it stays on or not, I don't know. Like, under here? Or you mean, like, under here? I mean, I tend to not do it there because I don't think, like, it makes, like, that big of a difference, personally, but, I mean, I don't know, maybe you guys can tell me if it does. I don't think it really makes that big of a difference for my eyes. But I mean, I always say do what makes you happy. <laughs> Whichever makeup you feel looks flawless on you, knock yourself out. But I don't know, like personally, like I've never been one to line underneath. Like, I mean, sometimes like if I'm just feeling like I'm going to do something different, I will. But like other than that, I, I usually just do like down here and then on top. I feel for me that um, that when I put the liner on the lash line that it sticks out more. So I guess that's my official stance on it. <laughs> I love this color. It is so pretty. And sometimes when I'm just looking like, because if you see like our shades like look very, well for one this side looks crooked so let me fix it. You get out of here, crooked line. We don't have time for you around here. Okay. So I think I got it. So anyways, um, like if you don't like it to always look so glossy like this, and it's not even glossy or sticky. Like I actually love like the sheen that our lipsticks have, and they go on so smooth. But if you want to change it up a little bit, or you have someone who's not really too crazy about this look, or they love are liquid lipsticks but um maybe they want like one of the color the shades like in our actual lipsticks take setting powder and just pat it on top and if you can see the difference you still have the color but it just looks matte now so that's what i do <laughs> And also, like, if it's, like, on top of lipstick, it helps it not to come off as easy. I mean, unless it's our lip stains, it's probably going to run off, like, if you're, rub off, like, if you're eating or drinking. I mean, yesterday I applied my lipstick, like, before I ate breakfast, and it was still on, like, after I, you know, finished. So I didn't have a problem with that, but, I mean, anything compared to our lip stain is definitely, <laughs> our lip stain stays on really well. So that is my finished look for today, you guys. I'm sorry with the yellow tint from my light. It's probably a little bit difficult to make out the colors by using Palette 4, my Touch Liquid Foundation, and Fortunate is the color that I used for my lips. This one right here. Which, I love this color because it's like a really good, like, I love this color for autumn, but I mean, heck, I'm going to wear it all the time anyways because I do what I want. See, I mean, even that, like, it didn't come off that much. So, eh. to each their own, I guess. But I hope you guys have an amazing Monday. We will make it through Monday, I promise. And I hope everyone has a good rest of the day. If you guys have any questions as far as any of the products that I used in this video, feel free to send me a message or to comment on the video below. I'm going to try to go do something with this nest of mine. <laughs> so I will talk to you guys later. Have a good day. Bye.